I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Now, I want to emphasize that my perspective is coming from one with type 2 diabetes and not type 1. Our channel is primarily for those with type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. Today, I want to answer the question, will people treat me differently because of my pre-diabetes? After you watch the video today, I invite you to check out the description box for my new ebook. This is one of the most comprehensive diabetes meal planning books you'll find anywhere. It contains diabetes friendly meals and recipes, recipes for different goals such as 800 to 1800 calories per day meal plans, diabetes meal planning tips and tricks, and there are also tons of diabetes friendly recipes for everyone. Now this is an important question, one that I had myself when I was first diagnosed with type 2. You see, I was never diagnosed with pre-diabetes because I ignored the signs and by the time I did something about it, it was too late. You have a chance to keep from having full-blown diabetes. You can stay at or even reverse pre-diabetes. So it was a question for me as to who I would tell and would they treat me differently. Now I will say that that mainly depends on your family and friends. Most, and I say most families, are a great encouragement, and it's really something they should know about. That being said, depending on your age, your parents are more apt to treat you a little differently at first, especially moms. There is just something about the nature of a mom who wants to protect their children, no matter how old you are. So at least for a little while, Expect your mom, and honestly, really no matter your age, to want to take care of you and kiss this boo-boo. Now, others may treat you differently. Friends may not want to go to the ice cream place because they don't want to offend you. Others may actually eat things right in front of you to see if they can make you eat something they think you shouldn't have. But ultimately, it's my opinion that others will treat you the way you want to be treated, and they won't know unless you tell them. When you talk to your parents, your friends, your wife, your kids, your husband, your boyfriend, BFF, girlfriend, whoever it is, tell them right up front how you want them to treat you. If you want them to treat you the same as always, tell them so. If you want them to hold you accountable on your diet and exercise plans, tell them so. If you want a shoulder to cry on at times, tell them so. For the most part, I have found that people will take your lead on how you want to be treated. If you whine and complain all the time about it, then they will probably be uncomfortable around you and may even avoid you. But if you're confident, you talk about it up front and maybe even joke about it a little bit, they are more likely to be more at ease around you. You actually choose how people will treat you. Don't forget to get my new ebook and please subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this one in the future. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm Ty Mason.